Hey everyone, welcome back. We're doing Detroit style. Whoa, 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 where's the cold open? We're not doing them anymore. Well, that's stupid. Apparently, no one likes them. We're the most popular part of the show. That's that's just the data I'm getting from the analytics. Uh, your beef is with the audience. Dramatic music. Hey everyone, welcome back for real this time. It's me, the Pepperoni Jabroni, and this is The Deep Dish. This week, we're looking at Detroit-style pizza. It's the only pizza that even holds a candle to Chicago-style pizza. You know what? Let's stop wasting time. Let's jump right in. Before we get started, two quick things. Number one, check out I Got a New Backsplash! And also, hang out till the end of the video for a big Deep Dish announcement. That. Let's jump into the categories. Presentation, cut, crust, freshness, nose, flavor explosion, mouthfeel, pizza hut, finish, and what I eat this, if I was high. Today's pizza is Outsider Pizza Company, Detroit style pizza, pulled pork, bacon, and barbecue sauce. Now as somebody who mostly only eats plants, I make exceptions here and there, because a lot of the pizzas that are in the frozen pizza aisle uh, aren't vegetarian. If you have some good vegetarian options, do me a favor and throw those in the comments. I'd love to see what they are. I'd love to eat some of them and review some of them. All right, presentation. Nothing's coming off here. Oh, something came off there. Which is just a reminder that no matter how hard we try to hold it together, right? We don't have the answers all the time and that's okay. All right, so we've been here before. We all know how this works. All right, on a scale of not so great to the best ever, we've got Chicago right here. Now, coming in a very close second, we've got Detroit, because the Midwest cities know how pizza is done. Now, dead neutral, as we've seen before, is your mom's pizza, right? She always said it was better than Pizza Hut, but we know, I know, you know, we all know it's not better than Pizza Hut, right? It's dead neutral. Your mom's pizza is true neutral on, like, the character moral alignment chart. All right, just below your mom's pizza, as we all know, South Philly Mike. And uh, New York City always comes in dead last. They're okay, it's not bad. Way down that way, St. Louis South Pizza. New York is the false idea that there's an ideal version of everything that we're supposed to be striving to become. What a waste of my time and yours. Chicago, obviously, is the reminder that we're all unique individuals. And while we could get better at what we do or who we are, we're deserving of love as people just for existing. And Detroit is a constant reminder that you're just working hard every day to get by, to do what you gotta do. Detroit is you and me, and that crust is delicious. This smells a lot like my need for validation. My need to be liked, my need to feel important or like I'm contributing. But at the end of the day, it's actually okay just to be. And I have to remember that. And you have to remember that. It also smells a little bit like barbecue sauce. I paid someone to cut the pizza, okay? I don't cut pizza. I'm very bad at it. Don't judge. Freshness. I just made it. It's fresh. I didn't get distracted. I just made the thing. And to be honest, I probably, uh, I probably undercooked it because I was rushing. You know what? Sometimes you just gotta get the job done. So for freshness, I give it, you're doing your best, man. You're doing your best. Reminding me of that old adage, you can never love someone else until you learn to love yourself. And what, what the flavor explosion is actually telling me is that that's not true at all. You can love someone else even if you have trouble loving yourself. A lot of us have a hard time loving ourselves. And sometimes loving someone else, be it a relative, be it a significant other, maybe a child, can sometimes help us see our own self-worth. Sometimes we just have a hard time with self-acceptance and that's okay. The mouthfeel has similar notes, but it's also a little bit too chewy. And I think that's because I took it out of the oven too soon. Pizza Hut. All right, now 
This actually comes really close to pizza. We're gonna give it like an 8.9. Crust, real thick. Pan. Uh, flavorful. It doesn't have enough oil. To be honest, the, the actual actual crust of this is a little bit airy. There's pockets of air in there and that's, that's not a good thing. It also just reminds us that like, hey, we don't have to be our best selves every day. Sometimes you just want a personal pan pizza and a pat on the back for reading as well. And to be honest, that's fine. All right, finish. What I'm getting is I'm getting a little bit of um, the pulled pork. I'm getting a little bit of the barbecue sauce. Um, and I'm also realizing it's telling me that sometimes perfect is the enemy of good and there's no reason to hang on to perfectionism. Anything worth doing. It's worth doing half-assed until you get better at it. Would I eat this if I was high? I'm, I'm practically high right now from eating it. This was intense. I love it. On the Scooby and Shaggy scale, it gets a 9.5. <laughs> All right, and that brings us to our final score. Please remember that after the final score, we're gonna be making that big announcement that you're gonna wanna know about, Deep Dish News. You're gonna love it. But first, the final score is, you're doing your best, you don't know what you're doing, and quite honestly, neither do the rest of us. Be better when you need to be, and cut yourself some slack when you have to. The final score is definitely not listening to that voice that constantly criticizes you inside of your head, because that is not a good final score. In fact, I'd argue that's not even good advice. What's the big, big announcement? Well, I'm glad you asked. Boom, we have t-shirts. So, if you would like to let everyone on the street know that it is okay to like things, let me know. Go ahead and send me an email at thedeepdishreview at gmail.com. I'll get one out right out to you. All right, thanks a lot for tuning in. I'm the Pepperoni Jabroni, and remember, it is okay to like things. Hey, everyone. Thanks again for watching. Be sure to like. Be sure to subscribe to the channel. Be sure to leave a comment in the comment section. But if you really want to help, the biggest help you can give us is you can go to our Patreon account and you can sign up to become a patron. You get segments early, you get cold opens early, and you can even tell me what kind of pizza to eat. Even $5 a month really helps out a fledgling trader like myself. Thanks again for watching, and I hope to see you back here soon.